All right, I've got the microscope set up so we can look at these things up close. All right, just for a size comparison, here's a ballpoint pen tip. I could use my finger, but you wouldn't be able to see anything. So this is your traditional WSB 2812B. This is an old T05 size LED. These are T03 size. So these are three millimeter diameter. That's a five. This is five square. And then these are the 010 or 1010 size, which is one by one. All right. And then this is what the back of the board looks like. You can see it's pretty amazing they can do this. Uh, Silk screen is small, and I actually I had to use the smallest size um, vias that GLC PCB would allow for standard boards. So I shrunk those down, but it, it turned out pretty good. So uh, basically, the, you can see, start to see the traces here. So the traces you see on the front are the crisscross ones, are the signal going between the the um, pixels. And then the vias uh, go, this is a four layer board. So the two middle layers are a ground and a positive power supply, a five volt power supply. And that is uh, coming up through the vias to power the chips. So let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, on the back. So there's your five volts ground and data in. And this is just your output equal to that. Uh, we do have to put a capacitor in here that you need capacitance to clear up the signal going between the chips. So I'm putting one big capacitor from five volts to ground, and then that's enough for the entire board. Actually, it's not a big capacitor. Yeah, capacitor, it's just a uh, ten thousand picofarads, so ten nanofarads. So not big, not big at all. All right, let's zoom in a little closer. All right, here you can really start to see the traces. So let me get this. Uh, this is a resistor lead. I can point it out. But anyway, so yeah, these where the VA is, that's going down to a lower la uh, layer and picking up either ground or positive here. And then these are the traces. So this is probably the data out. It goes to here, uh, data in here, and then data out here, data in here. So almost all, actually I think all the traces are on the top layer, pretty much. There's one on the back, on the very back. So let's we'll zoom in a little bit more. All right, this is about as zoomed in as I can get with my microscope and the setup that I have. But anyway... You can see the, uh, well, you can see how rough it is on the edges once you're zoomed in. I guess it's where they trim the plastic. Then there's the microcontroller there in the middle. And then you've got the um, red, blue, green LEDs, uh, which mix together to uh, give you the, you know, trick your eye into thinking that you've got a particular wavelength. All right, well, that is about it, little bitty guys.